Hello, everybody. Uh, it's my second match of Bander Blitz. Uh, Cap on Chess24, I am playing with Etienne Bakrov. So, by far, I am not the favorite in this match. Uh, well, I am not feeling that great today, so it's going to be super tough encounter. But I'll do my best to, to fight as many games as possible and hopefully create some problems to my uh, well-known opponent. Uh, it's a uh, completely different opponent that I had in the first match. Uh, very, very classical player. And just a player who was for a long time in a, a world top. Some of my friends after the first match suggested me that I was a way too pessimistic about my chances when commenting. So today I, I want to listen to them and be a bit more positive, but well, it depends how the match will how the match will will uh, proceed. Mm, okay, so if we go. I hope uh, we can start the match very soon, and we'll see how it goes. I already challenged my opponent, and it should appear smoothly, or so. Now waiting for, for his approval. Maybe he didn't appear. That would be my biggest chance to qualify later. Or he's a well-known legend, let's say. And he's not going to to play with me because I am a too, too, too big passer for him. Let's hope so. OK, still nothing's happening. So maybe I did something wrongly. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I was told that Yan is online, so he's just making me nervous. That's a good tactic, actually. Whenever I am playing three plus zero, I don't know how should I play, because I really hate flagging. I think it's just against the logic of playing chess, but sometimes it's just necessary. Actually, in the first round. I won one match practically on time in completely lost position, and that's why I qualified for this second round. Well, I didn't feel too too great about it, but what else could I do? That's that's what three plus zero is all about. Some people are super happy about flagging. I don't understand them, uh, but well, I don't have to actually. So what's going on, my friend? Why why we are not playing? Let's give him some time. OK, so here we are. We are playing. But how to do it? I have some. OK, now I can start. And let's go for it. OK, I, I expected some E5. He's playing it all his career, at least I believe so. And my knowledge here is limited, so I think I will give it a try only for one or two games. Because, well, he knows probably everything while I know almost nothing, so. But I checked one game of my friend Katsper Piorun. I don't know. I will give it a try. This is the move he played versus. David Howell. It's maybe not that obvious what to do afterwards. OK, unfortunately, my opponent replied pretty quickly, so that's always a bad news. So probably it's just equal game and nothing really is happening. But OK, now he, he, he is about to make some decisions if he should play g6 or maybe d5. OK, now d5, and I should somehow improve my forces. Maybe knight e5 will give me some chances. At least for a moment, I'll be more active. Maybe he can play some queen a4 after this, so 
Oh, he went for this. I don't think it's too good. Now, 94 is obviously not working. And maybe I can somehow put on some, create some pressure like C4, maybe. Queen is hanging on e, D7. So maybe I have some chances. Rook D8 is not working. And here, okay, I believe that pawn is weak. So that's already quite promising. The, the other question is how to make a use of it. Hmm, I was told I should play quick. So let's go for rook c1. This is the only open file. So that's maybe a logical move. Okay, and what about, okay, queen c2 is controversial move. You can play knight d4 then. So let's play h3 also. I feel I should be slightly better, but I'm never sure in such positions. This move is already maybe a mistake, I don't know. Ah, now this, this move is actually, I don't know, it six looks super tempting to me, so I'll go for it. If he takes, I play rook c7 and here, queen b7. I think I'm winning a pawn for what it's worth. Ah, rook c8, of course, I didn't understand that is a good move. This I don't know. I will be happy about being pawn up, at least for a moment. And now I think bishop d2 maybe. Okay, I have some queen e3 if necessary. And now just rook e1 should be quite good. Queen d5 he will play to make some active options alive. Or oh, this is maybe even stronger. Knight, knight h4 can be in the air, but I can attack. Do some double attack. If he plays rook d5, okay, that's not that terrifying. Maybe now his pieces are a bit unorganized. I don't know. Queen c3 should be normal. Just to see what he's doing. Let's play rook e4. Rook should be active. And now, do I have an option to play rook d4? That's a good question. I don't know, but I'll go for it. Knight b5, I take, he takes. Okay, and this is the position. I go with my pawn, oh shit. Uh, did I blunder knight h4? Maybe not, a fritz. It should be more or less okay. What is this move? Okay, now I can go here and here maybe. What is this? I don't know. Okay, this is probably not too strong, I believe. What's his next move? I go before. Okay, now I am trading queens and I should be completely winning. At least it seems so. Those pawns must be unstoppable. Okay, not too much to think. Okay, so far so good. So, well, that was a good one, but still a lot to, to play. I was quite happy about this game. It was all the time under my control, so it would be good to have more like this, but we'll see. Now he should accept my challenge, but, but he's not. What's, what's wrong? Maybe we will have some breaks. It wouldn't be bad, actually. This is super tiring. Uh, after the first match with Emil Cordova, I was super tired. It sounds like funny. It's just some blitz games, but at least for me, it was very, very difficult to recover after after so many emotions. Uh, because well, it's also that you are losing, winning all the time. You don't know what is happening. It's a bit different than even the normal Blitz Championship. And I just participation in... Ah, my internet connection is unstable, whatever it means. Is it the reason of some problem? 
Uh, I can send the challenge to black pieces. So he didn't accept the rematch, yes? Okay, I will try to do it. I, how can I make a challenge with black pieces? Ah, I see, and I should be black pieces. Three minutes, I challenge. Okay, here we are, the second game. She, okay, I wanted to play E6, but my mouse, I did the mouse slip on move number one. That's what is this. Okay, so here, I know only one line basically, and he surely will know more. So, well, that's actually not too, too good. But, okay, what to do? I don't know what is happening. I will. Put my bishop here and let, let's play. But that's funny to make such a blunder so quickly. <laughs> okay, what's about d5? Is it good move or bad move? I never know. So I go. Maybe it's a mistake. But as my friends told me, I should be more optimistic. So I am. It shouldn't be that bad also. Okay, this position should be pretty equal. Nothing is happening. What about taking? If I take, well, maybe I should remove my king first, just in case maybe now f5 should be an option. Let's go for it. Uh, well, oh, that's actually an interesting move, but now bishop f6, rook e8. Now I like my position a lot. Rook e8. I had some other options, okay, but still I did nothing wrong, so position should be quite good. Now, now the back rank is a weakness, so I shouldn't forget about it, but okay, let's centralize first and later we'll think a bit. We also centralize. I don't know, g6 or h6. Let's play h6, but it looks a bit dubious to me. b6, just to protect. Uh, he wants to eat my f5 pawn. How can I protect it? So g6 was probably better, but not too late to play this strange looking move. Maybe now king h7 will come. Queen d7 or queen f7? I don't know, queen f7, maybe better not to allow some queen b3, king h7 now. Okay, rook d7. Mm -hmm. Queen d5, I don't know what is happening. It's about equal, but he has some weaknesses. I have also this e5 pawn and I don't know. Let's try to make some pressure, what? Is it good or bad? Again, I have no idea. This is questionable what I did. Okay, but let's fight. He is now playing without a bishop for a while. Okay, a4, that should be too much. Mm. But, well, maybe I can try to go there. Now he has a weak, okay, it can simplify to some drawish endgame at the end, unless I've blundered something. Rook c4 is a really move. Okay, what now? Uh -huh, so I will be pawned down, but maybe nothing is happening there. At least it looks like I should be quite safe. Uh -huh. It's about some mate. That's actually unpleasant. Mm -hmm. So I blundered seriously. Is there any way to to fight? I don't know. Bad outcome. Bad. Okay, I don't know, but it should be just a disaster now. Mm 
maybe I can somehow write with a proponent, but now I have no time. Okay, now he blundered, so I have a chance again. I have 20 seconds, so well, he should flag me. <clears throat> okay, now it's just equal, but no time. Okay, okay, okay. But it's just a dead draw, come on. That was classy from Etienne. I'm happy that he's playing that way, but... Mm, well, uh, what I did was tremendous. I was so much better than such a stupid mistake. Okay, let's see what he will... Ah, this is C5. He's, I believe, a second of Maxim Vashela Graf, so he knows a lot of theory. And that's not making me too happy. Okay, what is this move? I, I'm surely... No, oh, knight e2 is surely not a good move. No, the knight is completely misplayed. I will go bishop d3. I don't know if it's a good move or not, but some c3 idea can give me a normal position, more or less. Uh, so let's go for it. Okay, now I like my position. Uh, I don't know, this move might be not too strong, bishop e3, and now bishop h6. It's not much, but I am surely doing fine. Now I should try to make some plan connected with playing e5, not allowing him at the same time to play d5 in a good circumstances. And this is interesting. I can play some queen e2, let's say. But maybe that's not too good. But f4, e5, well, that would be the direction. Yeah, that's what I expected. And what about f4 now? Okay, let's go for b4 first. Queen a3 would be questionable, so I will try to attack on the Side, so, yeah, a5 was a good move, but still I am having some slight pressure there. This move is, what is this? If I take, it can be not too funny. C4, well, C4 does not look, doesn't look great. Okay, but I think I have to take, I don't like it, but Yeah, but rook c8, he is now playing. I am, I am not doing great any longer. Rook c8, rook a3. Ah, uh, he has also well. I completely forgot about knight g4, so he's gonna to penetrate me, and well, I won't enjoy it at all. This is gonna be really painful. But okay, if I manage to play b5, at least I have a best pawn. Blockade is quite important. Okay, yeah, so he understood it's important to fight with it. Okay, and now, well, I can do some dirty tricks. I will go just for it, but it looks awfully. There's probably not so much in my position it should be, but okay, I will just push pawns. That's good when you have no time. If I manage a5, a6, or other b6, maybe, maybe well, it wouldn't be that bad. Queen b4 is maybe an option now. I will try this. I am attacking some pawns and trying to, to go with pawns as far as possible. Well, it looks I have some chances now. I don't know how, how much it is, but okay, now I am very happy about this. A6 or bishop, I, I will go with bishop here. I am sure now I'm doing well. I have also a6 with a team. Oh, that's an important one probably. And now b6 and it should be over, right? I see no defense from him because if d2 I am collecting and my pawns are just about to promote while d4 is hanging, so that looks pretty good. Even if he plays a rook c4, I take take b7, d2, b8, queen c1. That's actually a king g2. Queen if 
D1, Queen E5, okay, I can be not winning there. So probably it's just better to play Queen D2. Let's hope it's a solid alternative. I am attacking the pawn and I am about to deliver the pawn to B8. Mm, yeah, that's a good move. Maybe Queen B1, Queen D1 to, to, to exchange. Okay, B7, Queen F1. Queen up is always good, so it should be it. Okay, two and a half is good. Let's hope I can play e6 now as I planned. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, e5, that's what I've seen in his games, like in, in many, and he was happy about this position. I'm not exactly sure what is this, but it's hard to believe that the black can have any problems here. Like, what can be a problem with such an endgame after the opening? I do not know. Okay, maybe it's computer shows different things nowadays, but okay, just exchange this bishop and be happy about life, yes. What wrong can be here? Without this bishop, it's just a normal position. Okay, he has a bishop, but I always love knights. So I'm not really complaining. And now maybe I can somehow jump with, with my knight. I don't know where, but I will do it. Okay, here. Ah, that's actually a blunder, because now he can collect the pawn. But somehow maybe I still have some kicks. And that was of course a very stupid thunder. Yeah. Now I am just pulling down. And probably not. Okay, I still can maybe do some check. It can be very stupid, but maybe some change. Okay, now G6. I also can give a check with some chances in, but I think maybe I can try this one. Check. King d3, come on. But okay, he won't do it. And if he does not, okay, I have this knight g3, rook h2. I can take, yeah, but probably it's not enough. It's not, okay, I also missed it. What about the pawn and the game? It's, it's probably completely lost to me because of this pawn structure or not. This, 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 this. I don't know, but maybe there is nothing better than this. This, this, this. Okay, let's go for it. Now that's, I don't know, c5 is a move before I play b6, so. So somehow I am keeping this this wing and okay. Yeah, that's the question. What if I go here? I don't know. Well, I should have calculated it, of course, because. Why I went for this, it was so stupid. Mm. Think of five, h6, g6, think of four, take here, here. Looks like I am a million times away. Yeah, that does not look too good. And I don't believe I can draw without a queen, but okay, I don't know what to do, so. It's lost anyway, I think. It's just queen down. Nothing happens. Don't worry. Okay, it's about it's high time to resign. Yeah. That was that came from my side. 
no jokes after such game. Okay, E4 is working well for me, so I should continue. Actually, my plan was completely different to play some random openings. Uh, but if it went so well in the first game, well, let's go for it. No, I don't know. Okay, that was maybe a decent game, so let him think how to play. Ah, I castled in the first game, so no, I did not. I even did not realize about it. Okay, let's castle first. Yeah, and this is not exactly the same game. Aha, uh -huh, but I didn't have such a great position and I forgot about it. Yeah, now he is again about this f4, but now I know that he's going to play this. So maybe I have some trick. I don't know, cook e1, e5, and I can play queen g5. Dirty trick, but I didn't see it in the first game, so maybe I can go for it now. Unless he's listening to my videos and he knows what I'm going to do. Rook e3 would be tempting, but I don't know. Let's play a3 first. e5. Ah, you see, he is listening. So rook e3, and maybe I have some rook h3 after e5. I don't know. It looks like a decent idea, but OK, I don't know. That was the plan. Okay, h5 and I actually, ah, h5 and I have this nasty queen g5 again, so. Ah, so he came back home and do I have some, okay, I should take now and maybe I can get some pressure over there. He's not moving his rook. Why before was maybe a better move. Okay, okay, how should I proceed? Rook should go to d3, so let's go there. Or maybe I should open an F file. That can be that can be nice idea. Mm. Yeah, but King is he will give me one check. And one check is all sometimes. And what about four? I'm giving him important square, but maybe it's nothing happening there. Okay, let's play rook d3. It's a solid move. It's probably some equal position now. Okay, h5 is a nice one. I will go b4. That's a suspicious move. Okay, he goes for some typical points, but uh, now I have maybe some chance to press him on an f file or, or later. I don't know. Rook f3, he plays d5, and if I take, oh, but maybe I have some queen g5 at the end, or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, let's, no, g3 would be too much. Come on, how can I play g3? Okay, no time again. No time again. Okay, h3, I didn't know what to do. Now, knight h5, rook f3, maybe I can give an exchange, but well. Ah, knight h5, I have rook d1, come on. That shouldn't be that bad. So h4 is just very double-edged because the pawn can be a weakness also. So now he is here to make some concrete moves. And what is gonna to be, I don't know. I don't really like my position. It's not what I enjoy too much, but that's what it is. Okay, now I can try to attack c6 pawn somehow, maybe in this way. Ah, he wants to mate me, what a guy. Not yet, my friend. He wants to mate me badly. Okay, I can give him my precious rook. I will enjoy this position, surely. I don't know how good it is, but, but I'm enjoying such position, of course. 
Should I take or should I not? Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I have 19 seconds. How can it be? And I am so calm. What an idiot. Man. Okay, just move those pawns and be happy. I don't receive a mate yet. Just push those pawns. A, a6, did I blunder? Ah, bishop b7 is good and pawns are coming. Shit, again a mouse slip. How poor I am in those internet games. What is this? Is it a draw or not? Oh, it's not gonna be a draw. Ah, it's draw. Wow. I had one second on my clock. What a scandal. So I am on lead, but that was a stupid game. Okay, if he goes for a French exchange, I am not too unhappy. Ah, he goes for something like this. I am also not too unhappy about some game like this. Mm, so how to develop pieces? Knight f6 can be. Ah, that was not very precise. Bishop c5 was a, an option, of course. So now, now it's not what I wanted, but b6 can be a move, can be a bad move. Um, okay, bishop b7 is still attacking the pawn. And now maybe bishop, okay, c5 is not what I want. Knight a6, I am giving a pawn. Knight g4, I am, I don't know what I am doing with knight g4. Oh my god, again thinking, let's go for c5, but it's surely very anti-positional move. Maybe it's nothing wrong immediately, but it's not what you should do. I, I gave all, all the possible squares. Yes, this is a good move, or maybe not too good. Knight d7, now I am trying to play f6, and maybe it's not too bad. Okay, I will give the bishop. I don't care about my bishop there. And I will make a long castle and I look pretty solid. Okay, now if I move, but maybe I don't want to do it yet. G5, G5 would be interesting, but risky. So should I go for it? A6, A6, and night before is also a move, maybe. And before, just to call. I will go for it, I like it. <clears throat> Maybe he should have started with c3. Okay, he can go bishop e2, that's the problem, maybe. So that was maybe not too wise anyway. I do not have, yeah, so I didn't achieve anything by playing those strange moves. And he is probably much better now. Uh, I don't like my position at all. I don't know what to do even. I will go for some. Bishop here, ah, but a6 and I am completely busted. Well, that was not a very good game by me so far. Okay, let's play at least rook b8 to have bishop a8 if something happens. But it's just a bad position. Maybe now I am about to play b5, but you know how it looks. It looks very bad. I don't enjoy this position. How can you? Okay, maybe I have some dirty idea about some knight d4 check somewhere like this. Thank you, Etienne. But, ah, bishop c4 counter check. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, ah, but, but I, I, do I have bishop in b5? Maybe I am extremely lucky with something like this. But it's, of course, not what I've seen. So that was just ultra lucky. And now, well, all of a sudden I am doing more than good. Knight b6, maybe you can also try first. Ah, it's king d3, I forgot about this move. Okay, now I can come back and knight c5 maybe. And if he plays knight b3, bishop c6. Okay, but why, why I did play this strange move of... Okay, now I can give a check. 
and later I think there should be something. Bishop a4 is a move. It is. So I am winning an exchange. That's good. Good news for me. No. So 4 2 is, is a good lead, but still a lot to go. Will it be against Sicilian or something else? Yeah, we are going to the Sicilian. Okay, we are building some strange theory. Okay, for me, there is surely some theory for other people already here, but I do not know it. Okay, maybe I should not actually play rook, bishop e3 because well, why do I need it? Maybe rook e1 first and knight d4. What's the point in bishop e3? Also knight d4 and maybe e5. I could have tried knight f4 also. Okay, what's happening if I play e5? He takes take rook e5, e6. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, let's uh, bishop. Let's play Kito. That's strange looking move, but I don't know what to do. Uh, e5. Yeah, I tried a bit too much now. Now I am probably slightly worse because knight b3 is just completely misplayed. Yeah, he is now having everything what he could possibly dream about. Okay, but it doesn't say I am lost. I'm just much worse. Okay, maybe bishop c6 was not too good. Bishop e6 was stronger. Uh, or I don't understand, I think. It's also quite possible. i5, and what now? I should improve my knight, maybe to c2. Yeah, so this is not so stupid. Rook b1, knight a1, knight c2. I should go to d5 somehow. Yeah, this move is logical. Bishop goes here. And now maybe some bishop. Oh, queen d1 can be a nice move with the idea of rook d2. Or he can play bishop a4 now, but I don't know. This, am I afraid of this f5 move? Why am I always so low on time? There is some bug on this system. It's impossible that I am so low. Slow. I don't know. I don't like it. F5, C5, that's what I planned. It can backfire somehow. F4, C, D6, Bishop, C4, check is there. If he plays... What about what now? Okay, but ah, okay. I still lost my. Oh, that was even worse. Yes, that's that's over probably. Yeah, everything is ending now. I can't save it anyhow. Or can I? Ah, uh, why why did I check? Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> yeah, that was very, very stupid game by me. Another French. French with a French. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, now we, we are in the another variation, which is pretty standard. Yeah, it's like Philidor with multiple temp is up for him, but I never know what it really is. Ah, that was not good. Yeah, it's premature. It sometimes works well if he has a pawn on h3, but here is just b4 and I am. Oh, luckily he didn't play b4. But it does not say 
is anything good in my position? Okay, bishop a7. Okay, I should probably eliminate this bishop because it's getting, this knight, it's getting too nasty. And now trying to play against bishop from g2 uh, somehow. Okay, now e4 pawn is weak, so bishop b7 should be a move and then try to do this. Yeah, that should be my plan. What at this pawn? I don't know, h6, I had an option to play this, but okay, let's go here. At least I attacked the pawn, it's already a success. Now here, knight goes to d6, That's, that looks quite good. I might have played a4, then I would be also having some space advantage. And now what? If I play knight d6, he play d5. Uh, he play c4 after knight d6. I can play, okay, but that should not be a bad position. So, ah, okay, he plays b3. Now I should move my knight from there, I guess. And now I am about to make a push with a four, a five, but okay, it's not too complicated. I can do it, but. Is it good or bad? It's just completely another question. Now, e4 is super tempting, and I will go for it, of course. Because if he takes, I can take on g3. I might have started with... Uh, okay, he allowed me. I'm happy. It looks like I am attacking now quite well. e4 is hanging. You should take some decisions but there is probably no simple solution at least i can't see it ah okay here and now knight e4 what's wrong with knight e4 and there is also check from g6 coming so there is probably nothing wrong with this move uh, should i start with rook d8 i can also do it knight f4 is also a legit option okay queen d6 knight f2 is just winning yes because bishop b7 i take on d3 and g3 while after take on f2, I play bishop g2 and queen g3, and I'm just winning. Okay, 5-3 is getting better and better. But I, I am fed up with Sicilian. Maybe I should start to play something different. Mm, let's go for knight f3 in this game. Ah, he went for this. What's my plan? c4? I don't know. Ah, look, I have no idea about those games, about King's Indian, that's the problem. Okay, I can be killed here. I will try to play some uh, English game, but well. Yeah, and I never know, if or is a threat or it's not a threat. Maybe it is a threat. Okay, let's play knight d2. They are doing it sometimes. E3, I would go for E3. What's the problem of E3, B5? Yeah, C6 he's going to play, yeah, and it's probably kind of theory, which I am not really aware of. Yeah, and that, that is surely not a success for me. Let's try not to lose it. Isn't it too late? E4. Okay, let's go for E4. It's just like a, a bit premature and panicking, but maybe D5, I play knight D5, D4, knight D5, and somehow I can fight for, for, for some plus. Uh, not for some plus, for survival. He take, take, ah, oh, this move. Okay, knight b3 now, maybe. But can I somehow make some tricks and fight for an initiative? That would be perfect. Okay, that's probably a bad move, but I don't want to stack. I want to 
some kicks here and there. If he takes takes, my bone structure is completely ruined, but on the other hand, I have a pair of bishops, maybe some practical answers, but okay, my bishop on d2, g2 is super weak. Ah, maybe I would be happy to give him this pawn if I am able to open the position somehow, but how to do it? I can see it. Okay, giving the pawn is not a good decision. Let's protect. Okay, what he's going to do, I don't know. I go for f4. I should look for some active counterplay, otherwise I will be killed. No, e4, e5. And I, maybe now I am doing quite well. Nothing has happened yet. My position is quite solid and only this stupid pawn is not very friendly. But what is this move all about if I play? Ah, he wants knight c3. Okay, so let's move my ah, rook b7. My rook can be lost there. But I can't see yet how it's gonna to be lost. Ay, ay, ay. But now I cannot play queen d3 after knight c3, so that's a huge mistake, maybe. And that I thought it's fine for me. Okay, I can take and bishop d5. That's what I guess he missed that I have this bishop d5 because now I can collect his pawn somehow. Queen d3. Ah, okay. Luckily, I spotted that queen b6 check is sometimes an option, so it's useful to forget about it. And now, okay, this move, what is this? f5 would be some idea somewhere. And so king h1 maybe, just to forget about tricks, and now I am tricking him maybe. Okay, he also does not want to be tricked. Okay, okay, three. Let's win this pawn, which is not. Okay, okay, I see what you want. If I take and take, okay, let's go for it. That was maybe not the best practical decision, but I have 35 seconds, so you know, it's nothing about practice now, but about being quick. I will offer a draw. I have no time and I don't know what to do. Ah, you see, he doesn't want to draw. He's a wise guy. Why should he go for a draw now? I attack the pawn, but now, yeah, it's getting, it's getting not too nice. Uh, okay. And again, some stupid rook end game. Rook d7 is, I don't know what is this, but I have no time to overthink it. 14 seconds. Ah, shit. What? Why he played this move? Yeah, he's also kind of nervous. Yeah, he's not friendly any longer, okay. <sighs> yeah, seven seconds was definitely not enough in this endgame. 5-4, Yeah, I should make a better use of my white color. Okay, now we go into some serious French. Here I know a thing or two, but I am sure he is also quite well prepared in many, many lines. So we will see what, what it will be. I did have some practice now in Moscow. Okay, it's headline, but uh, yes, and now I am playing in this move. It used to be some old theory but now comps always show that black is doing okay, so let's go for it. Hmm. 
I actually never know what is happening in this position. I can be winning, I can be losing, I can be any everything. I, mean, I go with those pawns. I don't know for what. G4, what's his next move? Is it F5? It can be F5, but it's not sure it's so dangerous. And if I go with my pawns, I don't know. Okay, let's play bishop d7. So he went for it, finally. And now what about f6? Ah, hey, I probably shouldn't have the bishop on d7 everywhere, but not on d7. Now it's a critical position. Okay, let's go for a4. I, I can't see a mate yet, but it's of course somewhere in the air. <laughs> How is he going to make me? Uh, he wants to take everything. Or maybe I'm not afraid of those takes yet. If I take on d3 and take later, well, it's not too, not too good. Mm, b3. Okay, I, I have to take there. No choice. I don't like it, but what to do? Now maybe I have to trade queens and pray for, here we go. Okay, what is this move all about? Uh, uh, I take, he, it looks so bad, I don't know. Oh shit, I again blundered. How can you play chess if you are blundering all the times, everything? Just pointless. Okay, somehow maybe it's still not completely lost, but it's nearly lost after rook c7. Looks like completely lost, actually. I should be mated. Okay, maybe I have some trick with g5 at the end, and that's probably what I should be dreaming about, and maybe it's actually saving the day, but... Uh, he was smart. Okay, but I have nothing else than this. Anyway, yeah, and pawn is actually, I don't know, bishop h3, looks super weird, but I didn't know what to do. Yeah, now e6 is probably simplifying, okay, it's just lost. That was probably pointless. <clears throat> okay, maybe I have some little practical chances connected with the fact that pawn on d3 is hanging. And like, what is this? Yeah, it's getting completely random. Not like this, come on. Ah, oh, it'll be mated. Ah, oh, that's not good. What time? <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Okay, here I was a bit lucky. Let's go for some old shit what he'll do now. Hmm. 
Okay, H3, I don't really care. H5 is a question of Bloom of, I believe. Now I am quite happy with this position. And now what about knight c3 simply? Will he be so brave to take the pawn? Now bishop e3 should be unpleasant. And those positions, as far as I remember, are very, very dangerous. Or sometimes just lost. E5, I can maybe play knight d5. And then, uh, what is this? Ah. So my memory wasn't right. But rook b1, what is happening with rook b1? I have to play this probably. Oh, shit. What I did? That's just... Uh, yeah, I started to play like a total idiot. That's the fact, actually. Okay, maybe I was doing it all the time, but that's uh, way too much. Okay, I have to trade the queens, and I'm just healthy two pawns down after a good position in the opening. I mean, how can you do this? Okay. There are still some little practical problems for him, maybe, but it's very, very little. <clears throat> Nonetheless, I have to fight and maybe somewhere there. Oh, no, no way. I forgot about my, yeah. So I will be like million pounds down and just goes. Yeah, something has stopped in my machine. I actually started to blunder everything, so it's hard to win a match with such a good player, even if he's not playing his best now in this match, and definitely he is not. Yes, but okay, with the play like I'm showing, I mean, you can't count for much. Yeah, now it should be like over. I don't know, let's block his rook for a moment at least. Yeah, there are some random moves I am presenting. What is this move? Maybe it's not the most precise way. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I mean, I am just completely lost in this endgame. Okay. Is it going to be a mate there? Yes. Okay, so I go for this move. And king e5 and just goodbye. Okay, so my white started to be incredibly bad. Yeah, but if I am blundering something like this, is too much. Five and a half, five and a half. At least we have some fight. Uh, ah, and I got some problems there. Mm, what can I go for? Okay, let's go for this. Will he take? Ah, he take. And I know not too much here. I know my friend Pentala Hare Krishna wrote some book about this line, but well. Okay, years ago I used to play this, but I forgot everything what I had in mind, so it's not gonna be easy. And what I am going, am I going to play some knight f5 or it's a bad move? I don't know, I will go for it. Maybe it's not losing yet. 
Yeah, but I had some nice advantage of two points, and I, I believe I played a nice game for a moment, and now it's just an open match. So I did something wrong, visibly. Now I should focus on c4 square, but if I play knight d6, he comes bishop f4, and I don't know, so maybe I should trade it. Knights, and now he will come bishop f4, so I should be careful about it. Okay, this is not what I am really worried. I don't believe he can take on g7. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, this, this move. Okay, I take and I trade the rooks, and that should not be that bad. Ah, he does not trade the rooks. That's smart, but with knight on d8, I should be able to protect it somehow. Okay, he still cannot take there. So now I should open some counterplay, start some counterplay here. I can trade queens, why not, if he is open for it. Uh, he went for this move. I don't know. Now queen f5 seems interesting. Now he can trade queens on g4, or I can come back if I want to. This move. What is this? This is highly suspicious in my eyes. What is this? I have no idea what's happening. That's too much for me. Okay, let's go for some random random fight that's probably losing my kink is too exposed but yeah somewhere i lost i lost the way to, to proceed and again but still it's, it should be tough position for both sides i believe he's not mating me i am not mating him I can play queen d4 maybe. What will do after queen d4? If he trades, I don't know. Knight d4 seems better. Knight should be entered into the game and rook f6, king b8 maybe. Ah, this move. What is this move all about? Knight e2. Am I mated? Not really, and I am having some tricks maybe later on. Okay, again, I have no time. Knight b5, that should be the move. Or not, maybe not, yeah. Now he's just taking, uh, he's playing. I should have played queen b8 first. Yeah, that's, now it's just queen f8 and rook takes f6 and that should be it. But, okay, this move, I don't know how strong it is. Can I take the pawn? I don't know if I can, but if I don't take, it's bet whatever I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I take, I don't know. I have 20 seconds again, like a million times ahead of everybody. Queen d4 is coming. If I manage to trade the queens, well, that would be fantastic, but how can I do it? Uh, okay, 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 c5, let's try for it, something like this. And c4. I can be mated very, very soon, but if I am not... Oh, well, is he just checking his... Oh my God, again, what a stupid lose. Oh my god, I lost everything. Oh, what he, are we still playing? Okay, now it's it's bad. I was leading, I think, five and a half 
four and a half, and now he's just beating me in every game. So that's getting really, really bad. Okay, let's try this shit again. Well, now he got wiser. Here I won't be better. It's impossible to be better in this line. Yeah, maybe he is just awake only now. Maybe he was not for a long, long time, and now he started to play his normal level. That is quite possible. Okay, this move is, is not bad, but I don't know. Maybe I can play something like this. D4 would be something I would like to play, but it's probably just not working. Okay, let's play knight e4. Now it looks so bad. Okay, knight f4. At least I am protected here and there. But now I can lose this bishop on g5. Okay, that should be suspicious position. But there is something still in the air, so maybe some tricks pop up. I should definitely play quicker. He is doing it quite well. And, and I should focus on, on just moving pieces, not to overthink anything because it does not help. What about g4? g4 take, take. Okay, at the end I have problem with my king, so it's good to play this move. Uh, g4 again, g4 take h4. Okay, I am losing in the match, so I should take some risk. Maybe it makes some sense. It's quite typical for those positions to, to give a pawn and risk, so why not to give it a try? I should be, win the g4 pawn back somehow, so... Okay, what is this move all about? I see nothing, so I play queen, let's say, e3. What has changed by playing this? Okay, queen e2. I kind of wanted him to be on d4. Because now, well, he's now on G7, he's not on G7, and maybe it can be important. Yeah, this. Ah, this is the way he wanted to continue. That's smart, but maybe it's not so obvious. Knight G6, take, take, take. It looks like I have some chances there, so let's go for it. Not exactly sure what you're saying, but ah, he also was not sure. Okay, now I can say H, H6, is it a legit option? I don't know. So he cannot really take the pawn. So what is his next move? So maybe rook G1 first. If he cannot take the pawn. Whoa, I forgot that my rook was hanging. I completely forgot about it. Oh, I'm really doing badly. I see completely nothing now. I really see nothing. So I, I, I cannot play like this any longer. What is again happening? I don't know. King B2, let's not try not to lose the rook with check. But yeah, rook f8, now I am just lost. At least it looks very bad. Okay, let's hope there will be some miracle. But okay, here maybe I have some tricks like rook h3. At least I am attacking the rook. That's good. At the knight. That's ah. I thought I was attacking, but I was not. G7, I don't need this pawn. Okay, let's let's go for this for whatever it gives. 30 seconds. Ah, it's also nothing.
Yeah, just some random checks, but it just can't really bring much. Luckily, he is sometimes giving me everything, so... <laughs> so, will I win on time this one? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, that was pathetic, but what can I do? <clears throat> I did too now, okay. I don't know why he was unhappy with the outcome of a previous game because he got a, I think, nice position. Okay, and now there is some theory here, which I am supposed to know, but it's not always the case. And bishop c2 is actually a nice move here, if I remember correctly. And I cannot remember what I should play, so I will go for it. All this play by me looks highly suspicious, but you should not forget that he is also doing some risky stuff. And that was one of the risky moves he did. Because now if he is not winning, he can be losing. Also, but probably HG is not a bad try. My king is gonna to be super weak. Okay, now I think I can take the pawn. What's the problem? Yeah, it's connected probably with some e f3 and then I play maybe queen e8 just to trade the queens and maybe I have some chances there. I don't know. I don't really like the position after trading queens and unfortunately it, it has happened. I can play f5 but it's super risky. But maybe it's what position as I don't know. Let's go for it. Everything is hanging. Everything is on fire. And unfortunately, my position can be just deadly lost, but what, what to do? Wow, maybe I had, I am still having some tricks with queen c7 now. Maybe I can start with it. And then at the end, I don't know what, fg looks so much better. fg, he takes, that's what I'm doing, but... Okay, queen c7, let's go for it. Oh, I forgot I, I was protecting also the g5 pawn, but... This check looks super nasty. What he can do, rook e2, then I am just checking maybe. And queen e1, I am collecting some pawns, I don't know. And yeah, it's too much for, for my nerves, actually. OK, I must check. He goes king f1. And now what? If I play rook f8, take uh, bishop h3, king e2, uh, and I see nothing, I can play knight h4 now, threatening mate in one. And it's not too bad. I don't know. It can be a bit soft because he can play queen. Yes, he can play here. And if I take take, what is the material? I can play h5. I will go for it. Mm -mm. Yes, now here. He should play this one. I have knight f3 or something like this, but I don't know. Okay, I should take this one. I should take this one. 
And now some knight f3, let's hope it's good. Otherwise I am lost. It's not too good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, just a mistake. But ah, that's a good move actually by him. And now I just cannot develop properly. Ah, I can trade the rooks, so that's maybe my only hope. How much I am just pawned down, so that's not too terrifying. Okay, a5, let's try to activate my second rook. What is this? Ah, he's going to mate me. Not very friendly, I must admit. Yeah, that's just lost. Ah, but pawn on a 5 is hanging, so maybe he, he can forget about it. What is this? I don't know. I go with my pawn. I have just one, so I should fight with, with this devil like this. Okay, check is always welcome. Okay, he missed this check, that's for sure. Okay, wait, 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 just not to be mated. Just not to be mated. Okay, I can try this move, maybe. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a stupid mistake. Instead of rook g7. Oh my God. And now it's just half point for him to win the match. Uh, I mean, if he wins, it's just over. So that's, that's not good. Oh, maybe now I should focus on playing, not talking, but well, that's not all this tournament is all about. So I'll keep on pretending. Now queen a5 is now a move and I mean, he can win the pawn, but since it's all or nothing game, I should not really care. Mm, okay, it's some knight c4 now. Queen f4, maybe? I don't know. Okay, queen f6 is too much. Queen h4, I don't know, but I am happy to, to win the control over d5 square. And now maybe positionally I am doing very nice. f4 is coming all the time. Yeah, that was the move, but is it good? Okay, let's go for an f5, I don't, ah, he wants to build some blockade. But it's quite suspicious, I must say. Let's open it here. It should take him some time to open. Ah, that was a good move. What, d4, take, take. I'm giving a pawn, but okay, let's try this. It's maybe bad. Mm -mm. He's playing without a bishop on g7, so I guess if I open the position, I should be quite happy because it's not so easy to, to deliver it into the game. Now, well, objectively, I should be more than good. I should be just winning now. What's... Ah, but he's calculating and I am not, or he's blundering, because I have some queen d6 now. And I think he missed it. So then I am just winning. I am pawn up and so, of course, as lucky as it was, but okay, taking the pawn with rook. Okay, I am just collecting, not to think too much. Bishop c5, and okay, I'm completely winning, but I should still somehow win it, and he won't make it any easier. While I can make some nasty mi mistakes, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's already. 
I gave huge amount of my class. That's for sure. Okay, now maybe D7 is a good move. He gave me a mate like this, so I should try to, to give him the same gift. What? How can I blunder just everything? What is this? Wow. I completely did not see that he's attacking there. That was too much. Just too much. Okay, but knight f6, I am still kicking, but that's not what old young girls are dreaming about. So, ah, see. Okay, but what if I go there? And ah, this is move. This is the move. It looks suspicious to me, but I see nothing special. F6. Okay, I'll go for f6. Maybe he has still some problems there. You know, see, he see everything and I see nothing. I just see nothing. Ah, and now bishop g6 is just like this. It's Yeah, if I lose this, I mean, I really deserve to lose the match because you can't play chess like this. I mean, it's just so pathetic. Wow. This is actually fantastic. I don't like it, but that was the match situation. What can I do? <sighs> ah, here. I suffered here and he rightly chose this. Mm, okay, let's go for this. Hmm, I cannot remember again what I, uh, five was surely a big well if I lose I am losing the match so I should focus a bit. Okay, a six, let's let's try this typical play, but it's maybe too slow. King h1 now and and attack. Yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately, all those positions are pretty bad when your opponent is trying to mate you directly. And that's the problem. And he really wants to. And I'm afraid he, he will easily deliver it. I build no counterplay and now it's just... Okay, maybe rook g3 was not the best move. He could do something stronger, I believe. Because now, okay, this position is... Not so simple, I think. Knight c5, knight e4. Okay, at least I have some trumps. Rook on g3 is... Okay, let's try this one. At the end, there are some nasty checks, so... Okay, I am... Collecting the rook if I can, why I should not. And now rook g8 rook looks normal. I know that he, he wants to mate me on the diagonal, 
was pretty smart, but I should not really all of this, but how not? If I take, it can be mated, unfortunately. 139. I see nothing good to me, for me, or maybe G5, but it looks super dramatic. I see nothing else than this. Yeah, and now some rook here maybe. But I should be made that sooner or later. With this bishop on d4. He played a very nice game. So he will be a deserved winner. But let's not resign yet. Ah, but this is close to the resignation actually. Can play e7 now. Okay, whatever he plays, actually, he's completely winning, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. My well, pity, I was fighting quite well. I wanted to continue my fight in this tournament, but it's time to say goodbye. Unless he'll give me another gift. If he'll give me another, I promise, as in the first match, I won't ruin it, but what is this move? Okay, I don't know, I will go here. Ah, he just want to mate me, rook f7, and that's goodbye. I didn't see rook f7. Ah, this is even stronger, yes? Yeah, I am mate, that looks definite. Okay, not mated, but... But mated. Yeah. So that's it for tonight. I lost for eight and a half, seven and a half. Thanks for the for staying here. Uh, I enjoyed it. The results not what I wanted, but uh, well, I think it was an interesting match for me and for you. And I hope this format will continue and I will have a chance to fight once again. Uh, goodbye and see you later. I hope.